My name is Ben Irwin, and in the news lately we've been hearing a lot about this flesh-eating disease. Today on the show we're going to talk about what it actually is, but I must warn you, I'm going to get all medically on you, and it's going to get pretty gross. I swear to God, I puked like 10 times while doing show prep today. Now, while the disease has been covered in the news ad nauseum in recent weeks, that's very atypical. Yes, it is a rare disease, and less than 250 cases are reported in the U.S. every year. But it's just not that sexy of a, of a topic for an evening news package, vis-a-vis -vis the flesh-eating and the black bubbly crap, as you can see here. Oh, oh god, get it! Anyway, here are some facts about the flesh-eating bacteria. Its technical name is necrotizing fasciitis, and it's caused after trauma to the body and, most commonly, the group A streptococcal bacteria. <laughs> streptococcal. <laughs> I should have been a doctor. They got funny words. <laughs> the group A streptococcal bacteria infiltrates your wound and begins to wreak its havoc. The quote-unquote flesh-eating is not entirely accurate either. The bacteria usually causes the release of toxins, which cause the destruction of muscle and tissue. Well, Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you queuing up on the... F oh, it's a, oh, it's a picture of the bacteria itself. Whew. Anyway, symptoms include, but are not limited to, inflammation, um, obviously, plus fever, diarrhea, vomiting, swelling, and eventually necrosis, which is doctor speak for dead tissue. In fact, statistically speaking, those who are diagnosed with necrotizing fasciitis have a 73% chance of winding up regular dead, like literally effing dead. It's also been said that the infected flesh itself gives off an old, kind of gross seafoody like smell. Holy <clears throat> But be that as it may, it's a very quick working illness. Say if you go to bed after getting a cut that day and you wake up with a red slash black swollen leg, you're pretty much SOL. Yes, the doctors can try and save you, at which point your doctor will do anything from pump you with antibiotics, amputate, or surgically remove the infected tissue, which you can see... Oh, God! I suck. Yes, this is some serious stuff, but at the same time, it's rare. Go out and live your life. Don't worry about some fascist coming to necrotize you. Huh? That doesn't even make sense. But anyways, that's the show for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter, at Benjamin Irwin, and the moral of the story, if you wake up and your leg smells like fish, no bueno. <laughs>